As its name implies, HTML isn't technically a programming language. It's a markup language used to organize data from the internet. Like everything else in the tech world, HTML has evolved immensely since its inception in the 1990s. As you can see, Amazon.com, which I'm sure is a website that you visited, has drastically changed in the last couple of decades. Those who are new to coding should familiarize themselves with the latest version, HTML5, but having a thorough understanding of the language's evolution can both give budding and veteran coders some perspective on the past, present, and future of web development. Rather than rendering older versions obsolete, each new version of HTML has focused on making internet technology more accessible to everyone. The last major overhaul of HTML during the late 1990s was a major collaborative effort by global experts to internationalize the language and make it easier for coders across the world to collaborate. As part of this effort, the universal coded character set was adopted as the official HTML character set. This move allowed browsers to better represent the many characters and accentuations present in human languages and dialects. As a result, we now have better indexing for more accurate web searches in addition to top quality typography. The internet is a very different place than it was in the 1990s. 1999 was when the last major update, HTML 4.01, was implemented. Technologies exist today that we couldn't have imagined before the turn of the century. Smartphones, tablets, and other mobile devices have introduced new challenges to engineers and software developers. Increased globalization has made the standardization of internet technology a top priority for everyone with a stake in the world economy. Internet usage worldwide continues to grow year after year, and the technology used is projected to evolve at an increasingly faster rate. Therefore, HTML5 was implemented to start addressing these issues to provide a smoother and more consistent experience for web users and developers. HTML5 is the result of a collaboration between the World Wide Web Consortium and the Web Hypertext Application Technology Working Group, or WhatWig. These organizations teamed up in 2006 to reduce reliance on plugins, improve error handling, and replace scripting with more markup. Consequently, HTML5 has greatly simplified the process of creating web applications. Thanks to HTML5, web pages can now store data locally on the user's browser, which eliminates the need for HTTP cookies. As a result, content can be delivered faster and more securely. HTML5 has also made it easier to ensure consistency across all browsers. Since browsers have traditionally relied upon different plugins to play multimedia files, Native support of video and audio allows developers to avoid compatibility issues. New attributes also allow for video controls, including play, pause, and volume options. Because HTML4 was the standard for about 15 years, many coders still use it, and all browsers will continue supporting it for a very long time. Likewise, older browsers can overlook new HTML5 code while rendering content. Virtually all modern browsers, including Chrome, Firefox, Mozilla, Opera, and Safari, now all support HTML5 specifications fairly well. Because HTML5 is constantly evolving, browsers are incrementally introducing support for new features. Fortunately, all of the major browsers have been constantly adding support for features as they are released. You can use HTML5 test to run a test with your current browser to see what it scores in terms of HTML5 support. If HTML was fine for over several decades, why did we need to update it in 2014? The most significant difference between older versions of HTML versus HTML5 is the inclusion of semantic markup and the integration of video and audio into the language's specifications. Additionally, HTML5 includes the following updates. 
It has deprecated elements like center, font, and strike. These have all been dropped from the specification. Improved parsing rules allow for more flexibility and compatibility. New elements, including video, time, nav, section, progress, meter, aside, and canvas all exist. New input attributes, including email, URL, dates, and times are also part of the HTML5 spec. In addition, new attributes, including charset, async, and ping are also present. New APIs that offer offline caching and drag and drop support and even more. Now we have support for vector graphics without the aid of programs like Silverlight or Flash. There's also support for MathML, which allow better display of mathematical notations. JavaScript can now run in the background thanks to the JS Web Worker API. And global attributes such as tab index, repeat, and ID can be applied for all elements. So now that we've covered the technical side, what are the advantages of HTML5 for regular web surfers? There are some benefits that you may not have noticed since developers started using HTML5. We have storage. Some data can be stored on the user's device, which means that apps can continue working properly without an internet connection. In regards to type, web pages can display more fonts with wider arrays of colors, shadows, and other effects. HTML5 has also given us motion. Objects on the page can move in response to the user's cursor movements. Interactive media such as games can run in web browsers without the need for extra software or plugins. Browsers can display interactive 3D graphics using the computer's own graphics processor. And in regards to audio and video, we no longer need external plugins. HTML5 allows faster delivery and more dynamic content. How about advantages of HTML5 to web developers? A major focus of HTML5 was to give developers more flexibility, which in turn would lead to more engaging user experiences. HTML5 was conceived with several goals in mind. Consistent error handling. All browsers have parsers for handling syntactically or structurally improper HTML code, or tag soup as we call it. However, until recently, there was no written standard for this process. Therefore, new browser vendors had to test malformed HTML documents in other browsers so that they could create an error handling process through reverse engineering. Malformed HTML is an unavoidable fact of life. About 90% of web pages are estimated to contain some improper code, so error handling is vital for properly displaying websites. Consequently, codified error handling can save browser developers a lot of time and money. The benefits of a clearly defined parsing algorithm cannot be understated. Support for more web application features. Another goal of HTML5 was to enable web browsers to work as application platforms. As websites became more complex, developers had to find ways to work around browser extensions and other server-side technologies. HTML5 gives developers more control over the performance of their websites. Many of the Flash and JavaScript-based hacks commonly used in HTML4 are now elements inherent to the language of HTML5. These changes allow for faster and smoother user experiences. We also have enhanced element semantics. The semantic roles of some existing elements have been improved to make code more intuitive. New elements like section, header, article, and nav can replace many div elements. This makes scanning for mistakes far less painful. In addition, search engines are more in tune to what the various sections of the page are all about. Finally, we have maximized mobile support. Mobile devices are notorious for giving web developers headaches. Their rapid proliferation over the last decade has made the need for better HTML standards far more urgent. Users expect to access web applications from anywhere, anytime, on any device. So developers have been forced to meet the demands of the market. 
Fortunately, HTML5 makes mobile support easier by catering to low fuel devices like smartphones and tablets. The new generation of developers will undoubtedly discover new ways to take advantage of HTML5, and social media will likely drive the continual evolution of the language. The W3 has announced that future updates to HTML5 will prioritize core application foundations, such as privacy tools. Since a major focus of HTML5 was defining a set of dependable features, it'll be exciting to see where the web goes in the future. I'm sure it will continue to evolve and improve. It sure is an exciting time to be a web developer.